current review time as of December 6, 2021. We are reviewing documents submitted to us on the September 7, 2021. So, come back to my channel. This is Travel Discovery. Today's topic we will talk about the NBC time frames. What is the latest update? So let's go to the NBC website. So just uh -huh. just type the NBC time frames travel.state.gov so this is the website of the NBC travel.state.gov US Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs so let's start NBC time frames below are the current processing times for NBC this page is updated once a week for your convenience. Please refer to this page to see if you should have received a response from NBC. If you should have received a response per the time frames below, please contact us using our public inquiry. So guys, you know, every once a week, uh, they updated this current processing time and then if you don't have any re response on your inquiry in the re response per time frames below so all you need to do is to go to public inquiry form and um, make a new inquiry okay uh, current case file creation time time frame as of December 6, 2021 we are working on cases that were received from USCIS November 3, 20, 2021 so once USCIS approves your I-797 that is the NOAA 2, the approval they will send your case to the National Visa Center or NBC for processing. At NBC, we will create your visa case and enter the data from your petition into the system. So, the current case creation time frame right now on December 6, 2021, they are working those cases that they received from USCIS last November 3, 2020. And they said uh, once that they approve your case, your NOAA tool, they will send your case to the National Visa Center and then the National Visa Center will create your unique case or the Manila case number and they will uh, include in their system. After creating your case, we will send you instructions for processing as well as welcome letter that includes your case number and invoice ID. You will use these numbers to log in in our consular electronic application center through https slash cec.state.gov So they said after you cre they create your Manila case number, they will send you an email or welcome letter that includes your Manila case number as well as your invoice ID number. And then they said you can visit on their uh, website https dot slash cec.state.gov. Important, keep your welcome letter in a safe place as you will need this information to log in into SIAC as throughout the entire visa process. So, you know those welcome letter you need to keep it because every time that you log in in the consular of, of you know in the consular electronic office or the SIAC you know you will enter your 
Manila case number and uh, enter the code and submit and then you can see now your case you know if still at in BC or in transit yeah you can track your case there guys okay take this time to review the types of required civil documents and how to find them plus information about forms and information your petitioner needs to prove her or she can financially support now this is looking for a serious relationship or your soul needs let's check it out christian Filipina. i'm the so this is your time guys to you know to check those civil documents and find it so that you know you are ready now and also fill up those forms and information of your petitioner needs so that when you have a schedule already so everything is done and those as and those civil documents is you need to download that in the SIAC portal or website okay and the current case review time current review time as of December 6 2021 we are reviewing documents submitted to us on the September 7 2021 so for the current review times guys they are working this it's December 6 2021 is they are reviewing those documents submitted to them on September 7 2021 okay so those case that they are already uh, send their several documents and if they already the affidavit of support and that's the one that the in BC they are working right now that they receive on September 7 2021 before the National Visa Center reviews your case, you must pay all fees and submit required documents such as petitioners of affidavit of support. Yeah, I, there is a payment of that, guys, but uh, I never check it. Okay. Maybe we can make another separate video of that. And supporting financial documents is those, you know, IR, IRS, uh, W2. In top income tax return pay stubs everything that uh, supports the affidavit of support of your petitioner and also the ds 260 uh, that you for you fill up in the um, u.s travel docs website all you need to do is to print that first page with barcode okay and applicant several documents such as uh, adv marriage advisory, marriage contract, CINOMAR, uh, police clearance or NBI clearance, so birth certificate with the PSE uh, sale. Okay. So required documents vary based on petition type. Take this time to review the types of required civil documents and how to find them. Have any travel plans or visa issues? Please check it out, Filipino Visa Center. After your petition is approved, the National Visa Center or NBC will assess you in preparing your visa application for interview. For certain visa categories at U.S. embassies and consulates, when and how to contact NBC. Okay, let us check this, guys. So the NBC correspondence update on June 1, 2020, National Visa Center will no longer accept or respond to inquiries through mail. So started June 1, 2020, the NBC they didn't accept now those inquiries through email because right now they are using now the public inquiry form. So the National Visa Center has modernized the way we pre-process pre visa applications. This has allowed NBC to streamline services to case parties and to U.S. embassies and consulates. 
Elimination of paper correspondence is the next step in this modern modernization. This change will further help us streamline and provide better services for all involved. Thank you for your understanding. So guys, so they are not responding now those emails because they wanted to change it now to be modernized and you know they wanted to provide more faster services so if you have some any inquiries all you need to do is to go in their website in the https dot slash nbc dot state dot group slash inquiry and go ahead you can type your uh, questions there okay so i guess that's it An important notice, answers to many questions can be found using our self-service tools. Please log in into https slash cec.state.go for your most current case status and for a list of any documents you are required to submit. So guys, they said that, you know, if you have some any common questions, yeah, they have uh, self-service tools there. Uh, only log in in the https dot slash cec dot state dot group and you can find those most current case status and also the list of the documents that they are required to submit so all you need to do is to visit their website They said the latest updates for U.S. embassies and consulates, including operating status of the consular section, can be found at https slash usembassy.com. So, so if you have some any uh, questions and if you wanted to find the latest updates, all you need to do is to visit their website at https slash usembassy.com NBC cannot predict when consular sections will resume routine services or when your case will be scheduled for an interview so still they cannot predict guys where will be resume the poly uh, services because there still there is a lack of backlog so the processes is limited only so all we need to do is to wait please visit https dot slash nbc dot state dot go for answers to your frequently asked questions and steps for visa processing so if you have some any questions and answers just visit their website https dot slash nbc dot state dot and also you can find also there the visa steps processing okay so i guess that's it for today guys so that's it that it's only the the updates so, okay so for those who have any questions just uh, comment down below on my description box and i will answer as soon as and for those who never yet subscribed please consider to subscribe and click that bell icon so that if i have a new upload videos you will be notified as soon as and share to your friends like and share and give a thumbs up so that's it for today see you in my next vlog bye